If you had a billion dollars, what would you do with it? A billion dollars? I'm sorry, a billion dollars. My answer is probably likely the same, no matter which amount it was. Well, no, it would change percentages, probably. But invest a lot of it in safe, long-term, um, probably low-yield investment. Like, high yield is what you get back. Um, high yield is only high risk, though, so I'd probably invest in a low risk. <laughs> My muffin shot. Road muffin. Um, donate a good chunk of it. Uh, pay off my house, pay off my wife's car, or my car. Yeah, pay off that. Um, I need the following students to the office, please. All right. You might know we're still waiting on some of our friends. I'm going to swap screens here so you can read this more easily. Today's header should be 322. And we are connecting addition and subtraction. So you could really just put like connecting plus and minus, like if you want. So what we need to start with is put one of your binders book something in the middle of your group and put 10 of the negative tiles on there. I would advise not dumping out all of your tiles because that makes a mess. So put 10 of your negative tiles on there. Amen. I need you with me. Have you written down the assignment for today or headed your notes? So have you done anything that you're supposed to do in some of the class? So all you've done is just play with them. Is that appropriate to have a good behavior? Do you need me to babysit you to be able to make the right choices? Show me you can make the right choices, man. Thank you so much. Is it signed is the question. Here we go. Where's all the who what? Where is all this stuff? I just need my lot and no. Where do you need it? You were freaking out this morning in the library. You had it in the library? Yeah. That was when you said you were going to freak out on something. Alright, 10 negatives, right? So if I make that on my screen, 10 negatives. Uh, yeah, I'm going to toggle my screen back. So the assignment is always over on the sideboard as well, but i got to make a new tile here. So what we're looking at, right, is going to be that region. So Sky's group has it on their book. Either way, like, if you were to make notes of this, you can just kind of draw a rectangle that is the region that we care about. So here's, like, our workspace, right, where you right now should have... 10 negative tiles, counters, tokens, whatever you want to call them. 10 negative markings. Counters? I think counters is probably the better word. I need you and your team to devise a strategy to turn that negative 10 into negative 4. So on your paper, in your notes, what should be written down is negative 10. And if we want to, we can put that in parentheses to make it nice. What are you going to do? Are you going to add? Are you going to subtract? Are you going to work, bring in some positives? Are you going to take away net? What are you going to do to make that turn into negative four? I'll give you two minutes to figure that out. you write it appropriately. Once you figure out what you're going to do, write it appropriately. Yeah, the negatives tend to get down to the bottom of your bag. Got about a minute left. 
If you've got a strategy that works, figure out another one. Restart with 10 negatives. Try another way of turning it into negative 4. All right, Layla, as I walked around, you kind of flippantly, which means like thinking it's not that hard, you're like, oh yeah. You, you told me, you're like, no, yeah, this is what we do. What, what can we do? Add positive six, which I would just write as a plus six. So if I do that, now wait, Layla, how does that work? Why does that work? That's zero, that's zero, 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 zero. So I make six sets of zero with all those positives that I brought in, and I'm good. Sweet. So one way that we can get to negative four is to add six. Who can give me another way that we could do this? Ava? If I take away six of my negatives, now how would I show that in my notes? Remove them from your space, right? And we're left with negative four. Two different ways to get the exact same answer, which is what we're going to continue to practice today. And then the last 20, 25 minutes of class, we're going to spend on homework. I'm going to let you guys have a head start, and then I'm going to show problems and make sure we're doing okay. You have Mr. Smith and I to ask questions to. So if you have questions from last night's homework or on tonight's homework, it's a lot of the same skill set. Any questions on what we just did, how we can add the positives or take away the negatives, either way it does the same thing. So the two different expressions that you should have written in your notes, so if you don't, let's get them down, is that we started with negative 10, and we added 6, and that got us negative 4. Or we started with negative 10, and we took away negative 6, and we ended up at negative 4. Make sure you have both of those on your paper, please, which shows us that relationship of minus that negative does the same thing as plus the positive. It's a good reminder for us. Well, this is, it's not a positive, but it kind of is. So, uh, so I just have a question for you, like this one. Okay. In, co in college, did they teach, read you all this stuff? Like, not like this stuff, but like stuff that is so similar to this? Kind of. Kind of, but uh, like for me, that's a different question because I took math classes specific to you're going to end up teaching math. I also took math classes where you are getting a degree in mathematics. Here's some calculus. Here's some differential equations. Here's like so that was not directed towards here's how you communicate it to other people. That was just like here's some really hard math you have to figure out. So on your paper, using the knowledge of what we just did, if I gave you seven minus negative two. I need you and your team to decide what this becomes, and I'm only going to give you 30 seconds because that should be a quick one. How do we rewrite it, and then what does it become? Oh, that's really cool. Because here we can't do this, quote unquote, like we said yesterday. We can't do this, but we make it work. That is one too many. I'm sad. I can't do this. Nathan, since I can't take away any negatives, because I don't have any negatives. So so I drew this, like I, I'm sad because I have nothing to take away. What could I do instead, Nathan, that does the same thing? 
I could add positives or negatives. Add positives. So instead, I could say 7 plus 2, because if I don't have any bad guys to take away, I could add in some good guys, and we get an answer of 9. Ava? Yes, so the third way we talked about yesterday, but it still ends up being adding positives, but the other way that we talked about visually showing this, no, because we don't have, we're not negative to start. So if we think about like, here's where things get screwed up. Addition versus subtraction is like opposite operations, right, inverses of we have seven positives to start. We want to take away two negatives that don't exist because I don't have any negatives in this space. So if we want to force it to let us take away negatives, in here, in my space, I need to put some negatives. So what we talked about yesterday is if I add a positive and a negative and another positive and a negative, those are zero. Now we could actually take away the negatives. I don't even know what color to do this in. But we still get left over with two extra positives. What you're thinking is that we had negative seven to start, and we take away two of the negatives. Then we'd end up at negative five. Right, but the positive has more. So you're right in doing the difference between the numbers because there are, like, if we, so you're still stuck with if it was negative. So you're thinking of addition rules when we fight each other and we find the difference of the, the positive versus the negative. If this was plus negative two, then they'd fight, they argue, and we have to do the difference of them. But right now we're trying to take away a negative where there aren't any. So this is what, and I'm glad you're like figuring this out because this is where we have to make the connection between addition skills and those strategies and what we can use for subtraction. So be careful because we're subtracting a negative here. It's not like adding a negative. It's, it's different. Subtraction's tough. It's really tough. So Ava, the other thing we can remember is minus the negative, I can make this problem addition but now they agree with each other. It's positive plus positive. Mm -hmm. So can I ask a real quick favor? Can we put the pluses and minuses away, please, back in the bag? So I have about seven students completely <coughs> off task right now. And what we're processing through, like Ava's difficulty, is probably going to hit some of you that are currently just playing with pluses and minuses, as opposed to listening when we could be benefiting from Ava getting to that point. So if we look at a few more of these, and I want you guys to work with your teams first to discuss these. If you get different answers, you can call us over um, and talk with us about it. Let's just jump on down to 43. So if you want a number in your paper, and I'm not going to use that, I'm going to use blank. We're going to solve all of these, A through F. Trying to show 43 and F, but it's very hard. So, first thing we want to do, leaving some space, and this should be silent, is just copy all the originals. So I'm going to move this down so it's a bit bigger here. Copy A and leave some space below it, right, to do the work. Then copy B, leave some space below it. Then copy C, leave some space below it. So we have eight minutes left till the point when I wanted to let you guys work on homework. So I want you guys as a team to try to work these for about three to four minutes. And then we'll work them together up on the screen. Make sure that we have right answers. Then we'll transition into homework time and still be able to take questions and help you guys out from there. But these are very similar to what we did yesterday. Just now we're involving some decimals and some fractions.
So once you have the copy, start solving them and then start discussing as a team. <coughs> Unless you raise a hand, I'm going to just try to like kind of let you guys have some time. The numbers work well together. Even though they're decimals, they work well together. space, you got the space to work. Here's my smart software fixed itself. Well, I, I ran updates and I restarted my computer. Make sure we understand what we're doing here. We, we do still have five minutes to work here, but A is weird. Yeah. Minusing a negative is weird, especially once we start talking about decimals. So I need you to like really listen and analyze what we're saying because this is the easiest way to understand what we're doing. So I go to the store, let's say REI, and I buy a new bicycle for $100.86. Now because I have a credit card with REI, I want to use that credit card to get points. So I don't buy it with money. I swipe my credit card, which doesn't have money on it. It only puts me into debt. That's how credit cards work. It's short-term debt. So I now take on a debt of $100.86. I'm in the hole. I owe money. That's why it can be represented as a negative. It's not money that I have. It's money that I owe. Are we cool on how negative 100.86 can represent my debt. Then I decide so that I don't get pinged with a bunch of interest, I need to make my minimum credit card payment, which they tell you what your minimum payment is. And they tell me my minimum payment for this month is $3.86, which means I'm going to remove some of the debt that I just accumulated. So I'm going to remove some of my debt that I've accumulated, $3.86 worth. In order to remove that debt, what do I have to have? I gotta have money. I gotta have positive money. So to my debt, I am going to add 
not adding debt, but adding my positive money of $3.86. I take to my bank, I apply to the account online, something like that, that first off gets rid of the 86 cents of debt because that 86 cents annoyed me. I actually do this when I pay my credit card. I hate the cents. So I, I get it back to a, a solid dollar amount. And then $3 off my debt. How much debt do I still have? <laughs> $97 of debt. So I made, quote unquote, made zero with my positive 386 and 386 of my negative. Those paired up, I, I deleted that amount of debt, right? But I still have debt of $97. That's the easiest way, and it, it's not easy, but it's the easiest way to explain minus a negative. We're taking away debt. To take away debt, I need to add positive money. That's the only way to remove my debt. Question. Eight. We pretty much are. So if you look at like, I have debt of so Ava's saying, like, why don't we just like subtract it? If I look at it as I have a debt of 186, and I'm going to take away 386 of my debt, you still end up at 97. So however it works best in your brain, like, but I have to be able to realize that's actually negative 97 because it's my debt amount. Does that make sense? Like, because I looked at my debt amount as 186. I made it like positive for a moment. I thought about it as a positive for just a minute. And then I got to make it negative again at the end. Uh, the money factory. Trees, really, if you want to be accurate. No, but Yeah, seriously. Yeah. And there's like little plastic strips in it um, inside of the paper because of how it's like able to be tracked and everything else. Um, so same thing, except I go look at my bank account and I have $21. Do I have debt to remove? No, I have $21 in my bank account, which is not very much. But so if I don't have debt to remove, all I'm doing is adding money into my account. I don't have any debt to remove, but I've got this $7 I want to give to the bank. It's not removing debt. It's actually just increasing my account up to $28. Yay. Questions? No. Can anyone describe C for me? Can you talk me through it? Jalen? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, give me numbers, specifics. I have debt of $24. Then what happens? Ah, so if I make this addition, and that's what Jalen just said, she said you add six to your debt. Instead of writing minus six, we could just write add a negative six, because I'm taking on more debt, I'm going down more, and I end up with $30 of debt. But once you get it, like, once you get it. The fractions, same thing. Guys, subtraction is a lot, right? If possible, rewrite your subtraction as addition of the negative. Now, I can't really talk money here because you're talking fractions and that would be kind of awkward. But if I start with a negative four ninths and I go down three more ninths or I add negative three ninths, Sky? Well, it's, it's minus here, uh -huh. but instead of saying minus, because I hate subtraction, right? It's a lie. It's not real. I make it plus the negative because I can't, I can't just get rid of things, right? My math rules tell me that I'm not allowed to just like do whatever I want. I have to follow certain rules. That sign is there. It, right now it's a minus, but if I don't want to subtract, 
I can throw in an addition, but I still have to keep that sign, so now it becomes a negative. Because I can't then say add, subtract, like, not very good. Add a negative, okay. right? Well, but wouldn't it be, oh, why is it a negative? No, would it? It'd be negative one. Negative seven ninths. Or Careful, negative and more negative. Negative and more negative. Or negative go down from there. So we're going to do one more together, and then we're going to dive into homework. Actually, we might do two more together. Sorry, I know I'm not right on my timeline, but I promise we will spend time on your homework, and I will help you with it. I have zero dollars in my bank account. I want to buy, like buying spends money, I give away, something for a dollar twelve. Do I have enough money to buy it? No. No, so I'm going to go into debt. Okay, I'm most people in America live in some kind of state of short term or long term debt. Right, let me go through my car. I think we just paid off my car. I actually handle the house, my wife handles the cars. Um, I think we just got that paid off. So that debt would now be at zero. Now I you could look at like what value do I have in the car, but really I mean if I'm using it kind of I'm, I'm at zero. And then I'm at zero and I go to the bank to pay off my debt of thirty seven dollars and one fourth of a dollar, which we know would be twenty five cents. Do I have a debt to pay off? Yes. No, you don't. You have zero dollars. I, I don't have a debt to pay off. I'm, I'm out of balance. So maybe I forgot that I paid off all my debt, but I'm still at the bank trying to pay off debt. If I have my money, this is really going to increase my accounts. So I end up with 37 and a quarter positive dollars. Good for you. Questions on that set? You could use that $37 for gummy bears. Good. Or something more practical. Or you could buy a car. So. Here's what's up. Dive into your homework. I'm going to give you a five minute head start before I start helping. I'll, I'll walk around if you have specific questions. It's so like if you have questions from last night's homework, Mr. Smith and I will both walk around, but I'm gonna give you a five minute head start before I help with anything. Thank you very much. We'll try to find it a, a single pop tart. I didn't know that existed. I, I thought all pop tart packages were pairs. Hey, and when I start helping you, I'm just taking questions. I'm not doing every problem, so don't sit there and wait for me. Start your homework. My header should be 3.2.2. Number 46 through 50. Hey guys, so I don't often give us time for homework, right? Nope. So if you sit here and waste this time, what that tells me is in the future, I don't need to give you homework time. I would like to teach. Mr. Smith and I were just talking about am I on pace to try to get done with the textbook this year. I'm giving you half of my class period when I could be teaching to do your work. Don't waste it. I don't want you to have homework over the weekend. So let's get it done. What can we do? We have time now. I don't know what we're doing in class yet on my mix. I'm still figuring out that plan. But if you're going to Stone Lab, you don't. You might have time on the bus. Wait, so if we're going to Stone Lab, do we have to turn it in? No, I'm not going to collect homework next week in the Stone Lab and stuff. So here's the deal, really. You guys need to keep your homework organized until we come back from Discovery Day. Okay. Okay, I have enough already to grade and enough housework that I have to get done cutting down trees and stuff 
I'm just being honest with you guys. Like, I probably wouldn't get to it. So I'm just going to collect it when we come back from Discovery Days. Does that mean you can take it with I mean, if you want to wait and do it over Discovery Days, that's your choice. But then you'll forget and then you won't have it done. pay attention and as I've said before your homework doesn't necessarily have to be in order so if you just want to go ahead and do D on your paper so we start with five negative tiles or value of negative five or debt of five and I go remove seven negatives or remove seven of the debt well I, I don't have seven in my debt but if I go to the bank to remove my debt I gotta have positive money. So if we look at the minus a negative as the just positive, 
negative 5 plus 7, well, I remove all of my debt and still have $2 positive in my account. So that's D. The minus the negative, really, I would need to be adding positive money. And it wipes out my debt, and now I'm positive 2. Which really I would write in green. I don't know why I wrote that in red. But. Other questions? That's going up on the TV. <coughs> Bless you. Allergic to math. I always knew it. Yeah. Kevin, are we solving I'm problems or are we playing? Solving problems. Okay. Because she asked, like, wait, we don't. That was D of 46. Negative 5 minus negative 7. I don't have 7 debt to remove, so I end up going positive. What else? Where, Aiden? Can I help you? Is it for real? I hear you saying fractions are annoying. I agree. Fractions are annoying. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. Um, so, they're powering off my phone. Oh. Never mind. Stop doing reach behind you and get a textbook. I meant, um, no, I meant for three or four. No, I don't care. Like, we have six minutes left. I don't need to hear complaints about technology. And first off, quit screwing with each other because we're not elementary kids anymore. But you don't really need to spend the time to get on a Chromebook. You're wasting your time right now. Time I have gifted you to do your homework. Do you want A, B, or C, A, B, C, probably? I'm on three or four. I mean, I'm, I'm on three or four. I meant, I meant C, not fractions. I meant C. Decimals? Yeah. Yeah. Decimals. So, like B. B here is kind of funky. Because we have to pay attention to order of operations first, my 7.69 isn't going to do anything at first. But my 2.5 right up against that 4, remember parentheses mean we're right up against each other, that tells me to multiply. So 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times a half is another 2. And I get 7.69 minus 10. Now, if I have $7.69 in my account, and I buy something for $10, do I have enough money? No, so I'm going to go into debt, right? So I can also think of this um, as 7 69 plus a debt that I take on of $10. Well, I had some positive money there. So really, in Ava, this is where we can come back to what you were talking about with finding the difference. Now that I've made it addition, and they have different signs, we got to find the difference. And then look at who wins, right? Like good guy versus bad guy. My bad guy or my negative, my debt is stronger here. Than my positive. So we find the difference of 10 and 7.69, which if I borrow a bunch of stuff, um, well, what's the difference between that? That's 31. And then I had to borrow here. That really became 9. So 231. But that's got to be negative because I had to go into debt. I didn't have enough money. I ended up negative after I bought. A ten dollars what? What? Eight? Not right now. Sorry, this time is for this home. Uh, like, like AO and extensions, those are very appropriate times for that. But right now we're just working on this assignment. Mr. Smith might be able to. If you really want help on that right now, that might like that might work. Fifty. So, and Ava, this is probably why you've been having difficulties. Like, no shame, no, like, I'm just explaining to you. If you haven't been keeping up with the practice, you're going to struggle when you keep moving forward. Okay, so, so this is for everybody. If you don't keep yourself up with the practice, you're going to struggle. I've been there, guys. Like, I've lived that. I'm, like, really busy with swimming, whatever else. I didn't have time to do it. And then I go to class, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? It's going to happen, so you got to get yourself caught back up so you can get back to a better place. Eight, you said 50? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 never mind, never mind, I'm good, I'm good. 
So 50, and just to talk about it really quick, you're sketching these, and on your graph paper, this would be really easy. Make a rectangle that's three tall, but then your width keeps changing. So what if your width was five? What if your width was nine? What if your width was 4.6? You're drawing those different ones, sketch it, right? And then figure out the perimeter and the area. Perimeter all the way around, area, how much space within. Sky? Sweet. Yeah. So hold on. I, I can't even like think to listen when I'm trying to. Yeah, you're good. It's just my brain can only do so much at once. Break it up, right? You can't do everything at the same time. You can't eat all the sandwich at once. So what Sky said was, if I put my negative 7 with my negative 3, a debt of 7 and a debt of 3, I have a debt of 10. Take away a debt of 5. Now this can really become negative 10 plus, because I had to bring real money to the bank. Right? I had to give the bank positive money. Now what is my debt at? My debt's at 5 because I paid off 5 of it. Removing my debt takes me bringing positive money. I have to add positive money to the bank so they will remove some of my debt. Done. Brendan. B is actually still up there, which is nice that it's actually still up on the TV. So we first have to multiply. According to order of operations, we first have to multiply. Not first, first, but in this problem, we got to multiply before I can add or subtract. So, <laughs> yes, but I showed out the distribution. So because I can't use a calculator, right? And like you can on your homework, but like in class we weren't. Four times two became eight. Four times a half became two, and I put them together. Or if you can think of like two dollars and fifty cents times four, that works as well. Okay. A here. A also has to multiply first. So I have five debts of two dollars. So that's like I don't have any money in my lunch account, but Miss Mains is really nice and she lets me charge, and I buy a two dollar salad today and a two dollar salad that, like every day of the week, right? I took on five debts of two dollars. Well, what's my total debt now? Negative 10, but then minus 3, well, if I make this addition, negative 10 plus negative 3, oh, that's another debt. Maybe I decided to buy ice cream today and take on another debt, but this one's $3. My total debt is $13. That is all the time that we have, guys. Please feel free. Hey, pause for just a second. Just give me your eyes. Give me your eyes for a second. Feel free to text me about these things. Okay? I have an eighth grader who's really comfortable with this, but like if you text me and you ask for help, you can send me a picture of what you're doing, or I can pull up the ebook on my phone real quick. It's like an open tab on my phone. If you need help, reach out for help, okay? Have a great weekend, guys. Thank you so much. I look forward to my weekend. It's a nice fall weather weekend. We're going to have a fire tonight. Yeah. Negative 200. Because it, so this becomes a positive 100. Right? So that's like I have $100 in my account. Then I spend 300. Well, I don't. I didn't have 300 to spend, so I go in debt 200. dollars That make sense? Okay. What's up? Um, you can take it today, but like bring it back on Monday, because like we're not gonna do normal math classes next week. Um, so like you won't need your book next week. Um, and then if you like bring it back and check in with me, if you really want to take it, I just need to make a note that like, you have your book. Like I want to make sure that people have the right books. Thank you so much, Greta. Thank you.